Let's talk about four words that destroy Sigma, okay? It's just four words. I've got a Sigma, however, uh, I think I have nightmares about it uh, um, uh, going a full-on deliverance on me. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Deliverance. <laughs> the land's going deliverance on me in the middle of the night, which is just basically uh, a crude way of saying that it's going to break on me. and. Uh, Anyway, it's a 150 millimeter uh, macro sigma. Anyway, there's four words that destroy sigma. Forward compatibility in 20 years. What does that mean? Well, outside of dropping it or letting the dog piss on it, uh, Nikkor lenses from 20 years ago are still honking strong at a rate of anywhere between 95 and 100%. In other words, they're still kicking. Uh, now let's take a look at uh, Sigmas, and I was selling them over 20 years ago. And uh, you won't see them for sale, and you won't see them being used. Okay, find me a 20 year old Sigma, I mean you might find one. We're talking about 100% on the Nikors, 95 to 100, versus 0 to 5% on the Sigmas. The Sigmas ain't surviving, baby! They're dead. They're junk. It's like, well, the Sigma's cheaper. Yeah, you know what, in 20 years, well, it won't, far less than 20 years, it'll be dead, you know. So, uh, did you really save any money? Uh, two, two other words. Forward compatibility. That means that uh, the secret sauce that Nikon has uh, for keeping their older lenses alive stays with Nikon. And uh, a lot of the older lenses... Uh, Sigma doesn't support them being upgraded for uh, current DSLR use. It's just the uh, the uh, the firmware uh, compatibility for upgrading them is non-existent. Sigmas are not forward compatible. They are more so now than they used to be, but they're Sigma. If you read the fine writing, they're not forward compatible. That means a really really expensive Sigma that you bought. Uh, five, eight, ten years from now, Sigma will give you the middle finger, <laughs> middle finger on upgrading it to whatever D whatever Nikon comes out with. Um, sorry to say that. So, uh, Sigma. This video is going to get a lot of hate, and but I don't care. Um, you know, I'd rather tell the truth. I'm not shilling for anybody, and I'm not a Canon. I'm not an Icon fanboy. I was shooting with Tamron's most of the day. And the only lens that I've given the rating of a, a tits to <laughs> is a Voight Lunder. Um, so I'm not a Nikon fan. Well, I shoot whatever's best, but Sigma has an insane cult following. You know, don't take my word for it. They'll look up like the 35mm f1.4 DGHSM art. And, you know, Sigma is not fooling me with the term art. That word art means jack crap. Okay? Whoa, this is the art series of lens. Welcome to the Sigma Art. Oh, the art series of lens. You know what that means? It doesn't mean a damn thing. Now, uh, the Nikkor 35mm f2 has six elements in it. Uh, the uh, Sigma 35mm f1.4 has a lot more. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot more. The images are flat. Go to the Flickr page and just go back and forth between the two. Now, some of the images, of course, have been tweaked for color correction, but you can actually just uh, browse through either page side by side, and you'll see how much sharper and better the color saturation and the renditional, dis uh, the renditional uh, depth is on the Nikkor 35mm F2D than it is on that really, really expensive... That Nikon, by the way, is $380, the 35mm F2D. Uh, the stupid Sigma Art Series lens, which is nearing a thousand dollars, it's flat, and every one of the images are cyan shifted. Okay, cyan, you know, RGB, CMY, red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow. They're flat. They're cyan shifted. Now that's a certain artistic look. It also has a soft look, and the reason it's soft is that Sigma didn't design it that way. So it's got too much glass in it, and Sigma glass. Has always been nothing. Tamron is poised to totally trump uh, Sigma's ass. Tamron has stepped up their game so hard that they are stomping 
on Sigma's uh, uh, Sigma's egg, shall we say? They're ready to stomp on their huevos. Uh, Sigma is not fooling me with their art series. They're just not. Um, I know Sigma art series has a huge cult following. The apertures uh, are not uh, tight quality control spec. They crash. Uh, I recommend if you got a Sigma lens, do not use in continuous high. Uh, because the apertures uh, have a, a bad, uh, uh, their, their tolerances are too loose and what happens is they develop a harmonic and then they crash. And then you've got a crashed aperture assembly. Um, anyway, so you're talking about forward compatibility, which Sigmas do not have in 20 years, okay? Here's a hardcore fact. Unless someone's dropped it or done something stupid, 95 to 100% of Nick Wars from 20 years ago are still working, going strong. Take a look at Sigmas from 20 years ago. None to 5% of them. So you got 0 to 5% versus basically 100%. I mean, are you smelling that? I mean, what, what level of dumb does it take to understand 0% versus 100%? And secondly, forward compatibility. Nikon has forward compatibility on all their old stuff from AIAIS on. And it'll keep being that way. Sigma doesn't. So the two things that have killed off those old Sigma lenses say, well that Sigma lens is cheap when I bought it. It was a lot cheaper than the Nikkor lens and I bought it because it was pretty good and it was cheap. It's like, well, yeah. It's the same thing like buying a Ford versus a Toyota. Well, the Ford has the same specs as the Toyota, um, so I bought the Ford because it cost a lot less and the specs were exactly... Yeah, well, do you know how much better a Toyota is made than a frigging Ford? I mean, do you know? The same thing is true of Sigma, okay? I mean, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the Nick Wars versus Sigma. So, just, I don't care what you buy. I'm not making a penny. I, it doesn't matter to me one bit. I just wish you wouldn't piss your money away. If you need to save up another couple weeks to buy either a Tamron or uh, a real uh, Nikkor lens, then why not consider doing it, okay? So just consider those facts. 0% versus 100% on 20-year-old lenses. Okay, and those are four words that destroy Sigma. Forward compatibility in 20 years. Thanks.